Good morning, oil traders. It is Tuesday, uh, August 19th at 8.26 a.m. here on the East Coast of North America, and we are just over an hour away from markets open. And I've been doing a bit of uh, soul searching or, or uh, I don't know, reflection on yesterday's miss uh, where I basically had an opportunity to not only take a a profit on a short position, but also I was uh, considering getting into a long um, purchase as a hedge. Um, I didn't do either one, and uh, if I had done either one, it would have been uh, a smart move based on the reversal and the climb back up to the highs of last week, which we're sitting at pretty much right now. Um, we've been testing them this morning um, and uh, haven't quite made it through yet, which of course we may do uh, just ahead of or just following um, the U.S. markets open here. Um, so the question becomes, what do I do? <coughs> Excuse me. What do I do? What do I, what have I learned from yesterday and how can I apply that to my trading? Um, and an idea that's been basically mulling in the back of my mind is, um, you know, do I want to be more aggressive on the bubble? And by that I mean, Right now we're sitting at the top of um, kind of recent trading and I have a series of short positions. If we take a look at my tradingjournal.ca account here, if we go to my portfolio, you can see the various short positions that I've got in. Um, I only have one long position and I've been building up these shorts as we've been climbing, um, for better or worse, um, time will tell. So. As we're continuing to make new highs, the question becomes, at what point do I start exiting on dips or pullbacks? And at what point do I start adding more um, to my positions? And what I'm thinking now is basically, um, re I'm reconsidering what I've been doing, which is kind of waiting for the market to settle. So basically when we dropped yesterday, I, I was on my account and I was prepared to trade, but I was waiting for a settlement, uh, basically waiting for it to show some sign of resistance uh, before I entered any trade either to buy or sell, which of course never happened. We basically touched the low and just proceeded to climb straight back up. Um, we never really hesitated. And so that essentially prevented me from executing any order. So if I had, for example, set a target of two or two and a half or three or whatever it is percent on profit on a particular position, I would have had that um, sell order in place or conversely a hedge buy order in place um, and I would have been able to have that executed just based on that target. It may not be you know, the best price for the day um, it likely never will be, um, but at least it'll be something. Um, and there are many days like yesterday that I've missed out on because I wait for that settlement. Which of course, in the long run, it has been a safer uh, strategy and I wouldn't have um, I wouldn't have put in a series of sell orders or buy orders um, because it can run away from us. Um, but for example, the top order, the next order, I could have, for example, a, a set standing buy or sell order. And then following that, should we continue moving in whatever direction, then waiting for some settlement before I execute an additional buy or sell order. So that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. And um, as for today, so to use that as an example, if we were to drop back down to yesterday's lows, that would represent roughly a two to two and a half percent profit on my top short position so I could have a short sell order there um, for that position. Um, similarly, if we go back, if we continue to climb, um, it makes sense for me to either have a standing order to buy additional shorts at 5080 on the futures price or if I want to be um, a little bit more patient at 51. Um, so right now I'm kind of thinking 50-80 just to be more aggressive and uh, if we go higher still then I guess I'm going to be buying again. Um, I do still have the long position at 52 so of course I always have the opportunity to either get out of that position for a loss um, if we climb higher over 51 or of course wait for 52 and see if I can get out for even um, or even a profit if we climb higher than 52. Time will tell. What do you guys think?
Um, what are your plans for the day ahead? Um, keep in mind we've got API news following the close and EIA news tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, etc. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys towards the end of trading at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.